characters do we love? Well, the first name that Danny will say become, begins with a K. <laughs> Kink. That's it. <laughs> so, but he is a producer. He's a producer, of course, and... Not a DJ. Yes. So, the, 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 I can talk for Danny, or do you want to... No. No? Well, no, what Danny loves about Kink, which is a, 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 also an, an approach uh, we are having lately and something that we inspire to is that Kink puts, has that live element, both in his production skills and in his DJing. What he does is there to see. You, you actually see what, what he's doing in the studio. You see, you see it in, in his live performance. And, and, and that's very inspiring for us because rather than you know, sitting, doing sound design and building tracks, producing tracks the, the standard way, we've, you know, we stand up and we started bringing it to a, a different uh, dimension. Uh, most of all, that enables us not to have a sore back and, and especially to put, you know, to give it that live action sort of feel uh, that, that, that you want when, when, when you're in the studio. You need to be inspired. It's a job. It's, it's something you do every day. And if you're not inspired and if you're, if you're not feeling the energy, usually it's, it's bad, you know. So, uh, yeah, so Kink is definitely a, 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 an artist we really, really admire and that we love. And... Um, I mean, I could I could name a lot. Uh, we met a couple of weeks ago. We met Mr. G, who is uh, another producer, for example, that uh, another artist's uh, producer and live live performer because he does a live as well. And uh, not sure what he uses. He uses an M an MPC an MPC, yeah. yes. And uh, we like Mr. G very much. He's a very nice guy, by the way. We met in Birmingham. And, um, and you know, he goes back in the days as well. You're talking of people that are not in their 20s anymore and <laughs> that they can, you know, they could really can teach you something about how they produce the music. You can feel, you know, you can feel the, 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 uh, uh, the paste, uh, the, uh, the uh, I don't know the English word for that, but it's like, you can feel the music has, uh, yeah, the roots. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's all about learning from, from, from people as well, as long as they're the right people. I don't believe in, in, uh, in going to listen to other people very much. I like to listen to other people at home. I, uh, I think each and every one of us needs to try and keep, you know, it more spontaneous as possible and fresh. And, and, and you know, do your own thing rather than continuously being inspired by what other people are doing. You'll never be a leader of the, you know, of the new school if, if, if you don't do that. But certainly people like Mr. G or, or Kink or, you know, Kerry Chandler or people like that, you, you certainly keep an eye on, on always on what they're doing because they, their way of going back to the roots is, is actually real because they lived those days. We are just, you know, studying how those days uh, what happened in those days, what the sound was in those days, and, and so it's, it's a completely different, you know, approach.